um, yeah, I think we could get started by hearing you, your story. Huh? Could you tell us a little bit uh, about your trajectory, how you became an artist or why you became an artist? And how do you get to the U.S. coming from Brazil? Yeah, well, um, I, as Christine mentioned, I, I was born in Sao Paulo, um, right in the edges of the city. And I never quite liked it. I think that's the truth of it. Um, I always felt a bit more connected to the forest life than to the city life. And that was something that always kind of bugged me ever since I was young. Um, so as soon as I, I managed, I actually grabbed my bags and I, I, I left the country. I was already in my twenties when I, I was able to do that, but I found myself in the U S almost, almost by mistake. It wasn't really quite planned. The idea was to come here, stay for a little while and then move on to, to Europe but as many immigrants know, how we plan is not usually how it happens. I met my husband and 19 years later, that's that's where I am. Um, in the art area, I did always know, I think, that I wanted to be an artist ever since ever. Um, and I, as we were talking before, um, I always felt that art is not something that I chose to do it. It's something that chose me mm -hmm. to represent. So I always, it was one of those kids that I, I was always doodling. I was copying images and doing some sort of work that would drive my parents crazy. Coming to the U.S. was the moment that I felt almost like freedom enough mm -hmm. to be able to pursue something that I did love and I felt for whatever reason that I couldn't accomplish in Brazil for actually many many reasons so here I felt that I was free enough to I have I had the support to my now husband and I felt that that was the moment to to try it out one thing going through the gallery looking at the works I was wondering about like the process how do you come to the point where you start a picture and also your relation to photography because um i know i can see we can see that a lot of um your starting point are like based on photography yeah so the work usually comes in two different ways sometimes it's an idea that comes first and sometimes it's an image that I cross either on my family pictures, on an outing, or a, a article that I'm reading through online. Um, when that is the case, I just collect those images and I have a folder and I just throw them in for a later moment. Maybe an idea will match with those images. When the mess, the message sometimes goes first, and it still seems silly, but sometimes you just wake up with that idea, and then I chase a model mm -hmm. to pose for me, or I go online and I, I I try to find whatever elements to compose the image that I have it in my mind. Once I have the images, I throw all of them on Photoshop, mm -hmm. and I make a collage with them. So that's the number one step and I almost kind of can tell what they're gonna be but photoshop is that step one to kind of know and get my my images organized in a way that I can visualize a little better then I paint okay. then I throw them into the canvas and not always they stay as they were a lot of the times the ideas don't translate so well in painting and I modify them as I go. But if I'm lucky enough, whatever I imagine and I can translate, it can be a very quick painting or it can be a painting that's painfully long. Um, you are always like telling a story. There's a lot to unpack in your work. It's a very narrative work. Um, um, and it's very personal, right? It connects we can feel sort of a the memory or you know a testimonial aspect to it I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about that as well yeah um I always I always appreciated looking at images looking at um 
looking at paintings that tell a story that has mm -hmm. that narrative behind it does that ground me in a way that almost I can almost say what was happening at a certain moment in time without living at that time and in a way I feel myself as a historian so I like to, I do like to tell stories and I cannot write for the sake of my life but um the way that I tell those stories is visually and the more elements that I add to each painting the more details that story it's gonna be it's gonna be telling for 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 the viewer to try to if they want you to try to understand a little more to dive into or if they don't just suck it in the colors and and stay in the in the surface it, that's fine too